Iowa City, Iowa at the Devonian Fossil Gorge. It's right next to this big old lake. They got a beautiful dam. We're going to go see if we can't find any fossils in this thing. And then we're going to try to go to a free campground if everything works out right. So come along with us. We're going to see if we can find some fossils. It's kind of weird to think that Iowa used to be underwater 350 million years ago. Where are you doing crazies? We're going to go up here. We're going to see if there's anything we can't learn about the park before we go in. And if we figure anything out, we'll be more than happy to share it with you. Did you, babe? Yes. What'd you find up here, babe? Oh yeah, there's some more coral up here, isn't there? In there. No, we can't pick them up and take them. Jeez, why is the sun melting this stuff? Okay, uh. So what do you think? We, yeah, so, what, cool, but so, I got inked on. You got inked on. So there's these things, like there's these numbers, they go all the way up to 18, and they have like fossils around them so that you can find the fossils. It is pretty cool. Um, 350 million years ago, all this was underwater, and then in the flood of 93, the Coralville Lake, which is just about a couple hundred yards from here, exceeded its maximum capacity, flooded, and washed away a bunch of sediment. And then as they were walking through here, they discovered all these fossils from the Devonian period. Um, it's a lot of coral, a lot of shells, a lot of trilobites. It's really kind of cool. No one had any idea that all this was here until 93. So for only the past 26 years, did they even know that all of this was underwater? It's really crazy to think that we are in the middle of Iowa, in the middle of the United States, and this used to be an ocean. Uh, they assumed that the spot we're at right now was about 75 to 110 feet underwater, which uh, is just crazy to think about um, it's really kind of cool and if you're ever in Iowa we're right near Iowa City Iowa by the Coralville Lake the Devonian Fossil Gorge is definitely a place worth checking out um, even if you're not into fossils or anything like that it's still kind of cool to just stand here and think dang this used to be the bottom of the ocean and there's some really cool water like falls and like I found this hole that has like a water that's like right in the middle of the what do you think really right what do you think Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> you what? I hated getting inked on. You didn't get inked on, son. You stepped in a water puddle. No. at the Rivers Inn Campground. This place was provided by freecampsites.net. It is 100% free to stay here for up to 14 days. It's a really nice campground. There's plenty of places to park. You're right on the river. As you can see, we got the camper set up behind us. And I wanted to take this time to give you guys a quick little walk around tour of that camper. I know there's some people who haven't got a chance to see it yet, and there's a lot of people asking questions about it. So all these kids are running around getting all muddy. <clears throat> we just got the camper set up. The time-lapse video you just saw in real time was eight minutes. So from the time we park to the time we're ready to sleep, it's about eight minutes. I'll go ahead, do a walkthrough tour, and I'll show you guys around the campground. I know there's some people who had interest in the camper. It is a 1958 Applebee. It was originally manufactured by Applebee Manufacturing out of Lebanon, Missouri. Applebee eventually sold to Lowe. So if you see any Lowe fishing boats, the aluminum boats, that is now Applebee. So... They decided to quit making these campers and only stick with the boats. This is a 58 Series 1. They have a Series 2, which actually has a rear door cut out of the back. And then they have a Series 3, which rather than being this stainless color, is kind of a gold color. But this one, it's in great shape. It's the original canvases, the original mattresses, original carpet. Everything's original other than the tires. Still has the original tail lights. doesn't leak keeps the bugs out it's perfect for what we use it for as you saw in that last video I can move it around by hand we can set it up by myself uh, that time-lapse video in real time was about eight minutes so from the time we parked to the time we're ready to sleep it's about eight minutes if you step inside me and Brentley sleep over here Ayla gets her own little bed over there we're able to store a lot of the stuff we use in here, our pop-up awning, our cups, extension cords in case we ever do run into a situation where we have power, or we can use it on the inverter in our van, and that inverter is powered by our solar, the Coleman cook stove in the corner, and then just some miscellaneous odds and ends here. All right, so Ayla's been really looking forward to getting a chance to use this gimbal and this phone setup. It's really a kind of crazy looking contraption, so I don't blame her for wanting to use it so bad. I think we're going to do a thing called the Kid Cam. I think it'll be really fun to let Ayla film what she wants to film, let Brentley film what he wants to film, and then we'll try to edit it in a way that makes it enjoyable for everyone to watch. If nothing else, it'll be really cool for me to look back on and get to see what parts of these adventures they enjoyed the most. I think that's the best way to capture what we're doing and the best way to capture the whole point of these adventures we go on. Um, I don't get to spend as much time with my children as I would like to because of my work schedule, but the time I do get to spend with them, I want to make sure is out of the house, seeing new things. I want them to always love home, but I want them to know that there is so much more out there, and I never want them to be afraid of adventuring out, finding new places, meeting new people, seeing new things, and trying to find little things in this life that can make you happy. I think we all get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day life and just the busyness of it all, and it's, it's, it's really sad. And if I can give her this camera and she films some things that she enjoys, that's what this is all about. Okay, so I decided to turn the yeah, camera around. And I hope the like little quick thing of the, the lake, lake tour was cool. Because I really like the lake here. What's up, Dad? Oh, that would be expensive. Well, we're 300. Yeah. It was 
Okay. Yeah, 1,000, that would be a lot. That's why people buy that. It's turning into a beautiful night, guys. Yeah, it is. Perfect out, not too hot, it's not too cold, it's not raining. Okay. So, my brother's still working on the sister and dad's spear. Dad spear. Brentley, show me your safety circle. That's your safety circle. Good job, bud. You holding it tight? Yeah. All right. Yep, he's doing that. I got hair in my face. Okay. And I guess I could give you a tour of nothing. I don't know. Here's uh, some trees in the lake. I will. What are you saying over here? Nothing. Am I in your circle? Just use it with your arm, not the knife. Probably a little close. Might not want to be that close. Yeah. Too close. Let me just get down here. Guys? Hold on. Don't touch it with your hand. You'll screw it all up. Okay, so, guys, um, it's not too bad, it's not too windy, and the river sounds calm. That's mm. all I had to say. Got anything else to say? Uh, I love making spears. He's a Fortnite type of guy. Okay guys, so here's the lake. It goes pretty fast too. Cause there's daddy, there's Brentley, and there's the camper. Don't be getting too close to that water. I won't. So yeah. The water is really cool. And then this camera, it looks orange over there. So I think it's pretty cool. And we got Brentley over here. Working on dad's spear. Working on dad's, okay then. That one looks not as skinny. Oh no. Kid one is behind me. I'm gonna film you doing this just for a little bit. Make sure she's not in your safety circle, bud. Am I? Oh, this is how big my safety circle is. Alright. Okay, good, I'm good. Dad's just chilling over there. Having a good old time with my kids. And uh, his shirt. How far are we from home? Well, you want to show him the shirt you got me? Yeah, we got him this shirt for Father's Day. Dad, I love wait. it. It's I think Father's Day is. Um, Father's Day is in one week. Says the best kind of dad raises a camper. That's right. And you are the best dad. Oh, you guys are the best kids. Thank you. I got a bunch of bugs in my nose and give me bugs. Bugs from the bugs. I'm a face look. How I look, babe. You look red. No! Okay. All right, guys, this video ran a little long. We're sitting by the fire. We're getting ready to go to bed. Check back in, and you guys can see what we do at Soggy Bottoms Beach. Thank you guys for watching our video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and be sure to hit that bell button. That way you get a notification every time we post a new video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit the thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow. Thank you guys again. Y'all have a good night.